Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today we're going to make this adorable card that uses a sentiment from Sunny Sentiments and kind of gives this little sun ray type of look to this card. Let's get started making this cute card. The materials needed are fresh freesia cardstock cut at five and a half by eight and a half, layering pieces of fresh freesia again at four by five and a quarter, as well as basic white at four by five and a quarter. And then the paper that I'm using to make the rays and the accents are from Petal Pan or Pansy Petals. And the inside of the card, I'm gonna need two strips and these are cut at three fourths by five and a quarter. And then to make the rays, three strips, you could use more if you want, depends on how you do your rays. Um, but I use three strips cut up one and a half by four and then um, some sort of label that you'll need for the sentiment. And I used this out of basic white from the Hippo and Friends die. To make the rays, what we're going to do is to take those rectangle pieces that we have and we're going to cut them at a diagonal. It really doesn't matter which direction that you cut it, whether you go from the upper right to lower left or vice versa, they can all be the same, they can be different. Um, it's really quite forgiving, but we're going to go ahead and cut those. What we wanna do next is to make our sun rays or the illusion of it, we're gonna to need to take our triangle pieces and kind of have the point about in the center of the card. It won't really matter um, where you have it because wherever you want to place your sentiment is where we're going to do. And you're just gonna to want to kind of play around with um, how you would like your sun rays to be. I love the bumblebee color on one of these patterns on the pansy petals. I thought that kind of gave the nod to the sunshine. And so you can just kind of place those where you might want to and kind of have it prearranged in your head where you're going to have it. I love multi-purpose glue for this. And I'll bring in the sample again. We know that we're going to cover this upper quadrant. And so I'm gonna start out with a little glue here. And then you do wanna have a silicone mat or something wipeable underneath of it. And I'm just gonna start putting some glue on the backside of all of our, what I'm calling the sun rays. And again, just wherever you might want it. And I'll speed up the video for the rest. Now with some non-paper scissors, um, because I don't want to get any glue on it, I'm going to flip it over to the back side and I'm going to trim off all of the excess paper. And then we get something that looks like this. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to add a little texture to the background using Tasteful Textures 3D embossing folder. And I'm just going to put all of this in the folder and run it through our embossing machine. Gone ahead and die cut out a label from the Hippo and Friends die. It's such a cute um, die set because it's got lots of different fun labels to do. And I'm going to use Bumblebee ink and I'm using the Thought You Could Use Some Sunny Thoughts today. And we'll see how I do lining it up here on camera. For the inside of the card, I'm not going to stamp anything, but rather I'm just going to use some of the designer paper to um, accent the inside. These are the five and a fourth by three fourths inch strips. 
And you can either use the complementary side or the matching side. I'm going to use the matching side. We'll get that lined up at the top and the bottom. Just a little way of kind of framing the inside of the card with paper. Okay, we're ready to kind of take it all home now. So we'll just go ahead and fold our cardstock into the typical um, card base here. And let's go ahead and we'll put on the inside. Whenever you use multi-purpose glue, you just need a little gentle squeeze on it. It doesn't need very much. Oops. Yep, I want the sunshine on the top when they open it up. Again, we're not being very literal with the sun rays. It's just kind of give that impression on it. And we'll get some stamping dimensionals on this. Do you want to kind of, whoops, I don't. I don't want to pop this layer up. We're gonna just glue this one down because I really want to pop up the sentiment on it. So Tasteful Textures is just one of those embossing folders that um, I've come to really kind of reach for time and again. It just adds that little something to the background without taking over the project. Oops. Get that on there. And again, when you go to put the sun rays or the points down, don't worry if they all don't match up because your sentiment is going to cover that. And then you can just kind of put it wherever you want. But you could use some sunny thoughts today. I love that sentiment. It can be for a multiple of things. You know, whether it kind of just Maybe you have a friend that's down in the dumps or is going through a hard times or, you know, just really anything to let people know that you acknowledge that, you know, they just might be having a little rough go of it. I'm using the 2021-23 in color jewels. And so that's what this fresh freesia is. It's one of the in colors. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put two up on the top and then one on the bottom and our card is done but you could use some sunny thoughts today on it this is what um, I recently um, highlighted sunny sentiments on my blog where I did a variety of all of these sentiments. I did four projects for you. And so um, I thought I just would bring those in and show you what that might look like. Again, you can check out my blog. I'll have a link in the video description if you're interested. Here's a slimline card that I used um, for the thank you. And this hydrangea paper is um, retiring at the end of June. So that's what I used on this one. And I made a slimline um, envelope to go with that. And I have a hello card using the Peachy Keen Designer Series Paper. Again, my tasteful texture folder. And I used um, a happy hello on this one. And then lastly, I used the sold out, well said, um, or well suited Designer Series Paper to make a little birthday bag. And I'm um, hoping the birthday, hoping your birthday sentiment is from that one. So I thought, um, you know, again, I would just kind of highlight this stamp set that could be easily overlooked. And then also kind of share with you this like partial sun ray type of a feel for this card. All right, everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching and happy crafting. Bye-bye.